This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to talk about how to create a clay render in Keyshot. Okay, so if you want to know what a, a clay render is, what it's for, and how to create one, check out this video. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well as mentioned, we're going to do a clay render, but before we do that, uh, let me explain what a clay render is. Um, it is a, um, it's called a clay render because the uh, surface material resembles clay. It's typically matte gray or sometimes even uh, looks like actual clay. And the purpose of that is that it has no reflection and no texture, so you have a kind of proper uh, view of the model, okay? Now, depending on the purpose of your model, you can decide to do a uh, background and shadows and whatnot. Uh, but the main part here is it's for presentation purposes. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go up to uh, file and import. And I have this uh, Winchester model that I did a while back. We're just going to import that. And we're going to position it in a way that we basically are looking at the side view here. Let's bring it in, kind of frame that up nicely. And you can see because it's rendering on the fly that it takes a while to get that detail. But I'm happy with that. I would like to have the model slightly elevated from the floor. So I'm gonna go into my scene to models, select my Winchester, go to position, move tool. Let's make sure this guy is selected here. Yeah, and I can now pull that up. So it's just a little bit elevated, okay? We're gonna hit the green arrow here, we're good with that. So I'm good with the position. Uh, I need to decide whether I want to have a background or not. Now we're gonna use fairly light material so we can go slightly dark on the background, like so. And then we're gonna look at the lighting here and more the lighting quality than the type of lighting, okay? So uh, I'm going to initially go with a full simulation. So now I can turn off things uh, as I want. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to turn off the caustics because there's obviously no need for that. And I'm going to turn off the interior mode. Okay, because it's important to see that detail. Still doesn't look too great. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the environment. And actually, let's do the material first. We're going to go to material. I want something that is has no specularity, that is smooth and so forth. So what I found under the paint here and on the mat is something called drywall. Okay, so that's uh, pretty close to clay. This one right here, uh, you can see that it's uh, pretty close to actual clay. So let's try that guy. And what I've actually done on my other screen, I have a picture of actual clay. So what we'll do is we'll double click on this material. I'll click on this color swatch here. And then I'm gonna take my picker and I'm gonna move it over to my other screen. Click on it. And now I have the color of actual clay, all right? Maybe a bit dark. So let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. Kind of push it towards gray, but have some color. Okay, cool. So happy with that. Uh, let's see what else. We were looking at the lighting, so that's all good. We can adjust the quality of those in a second. But most importantly right now is the environment. Now I did some testing, and if I take this one, I think that will look best. It has a huge impact on color. And I tested it with a different material, so let's see what will make our model pop. Uh, I like that one, so let's keep that one in mind. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Okay, so that looks good in my opinion. Um, the whole scene is still a bit too dark, so let's go back and see if we can increase the contrast because our material is a bit darker. That's too much, let's do this one. Okay, let's see, that looks okay. Uh, what else? Okay, so now we're gonna go in, we're gonna go to image, and let's see, we're gonna go to effects. I'm gonna increase the vignetting strength. You don't have to. That's kind of that dark edge feel that's coming in from the corners. I always like to do that a little bit. So that's good. 
Bloom, we're not going to touch that. The bloom intensity, I want that to be zero. Bloom is basically, in a nutshell, blurring it. I don't want that. Uh, we can leave that alone. Let's look at the cameras. Anything there? No, we're not going to touch that. Lighting. Um, it's already in custom mode. I am going to increase the ray bounces though because I want this to be uh, very clear and detailed. Increase the indirect bounces a bit and obviously I want a good shallow quality. Okay. Environment, we can decide to add an extra pin light if we want, but I'm not unsatisfied with this. Maybe we have to go back and adjust the, uh, the gamma. Uh, where was that? Right here. Just going to bring that up, let's say, to roughly 2.5. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Material. And the roughness, we're going to go to zero. I don't want any roughness like that. Don't want too, too much reflection either. So I'm just going to bring that back. So far, it's mainly just light, not necessarily reflection. And then the refraction index, by bringing that back or down, it's uh, moving away from that. 1.5 is basically your fraction index for glass. So, uh, yeah. So I'm happy with this. Uh, the only thing we might want to do is um, see if we can uh, tweak our environment a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and we're going to rotate this to see if it has a huge impact. You can see that going that way it makes our model darker yeah that's that's good okay and you can even decide if you want to choose an even color as a background uh, where you have more control over your um, over your scene okay so let's try something bit neutral okay we'll do that all right cool so now i think we're all set so we're going to go to our render tab we're going to go to uh, render uh, in the option box i'm going to select the maximum samples and then the output i'm going to call this wind clay i'll uh, save that on my desktop and there we go that's uh, good size wise uh, everything is set so i'm going to pause the video hit the render button and see you guys when it's done okay guys this is our final render uh turned out okay i think um so uh, yeah hopefully that's helpful for you guys uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you didn't do that already and that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye